हेलो गाइस दिस इज वीरेंद्र सिंह एंड वेलकम बैट एट मास्टर कैम मिलिंग ट्यूटोरियल्स एंड टूल पाथ इन ओवर मास्टर कैम मिलिंग ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज इन ओवर लास्ट वीडियो वी डिस्कस अबाउट दैट हाउ वी कैन प्रिपेयर दैट वन मॉडल बाय द हेल्प ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ सरफेस कमांड्स एंड नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट दैट हाउ वी कैन मेक रफिंग टूल पाथ फॉर दैट वन मॉडल बाय द हेल्प ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ ऑपरेशंस so in this video you will learn about that first that how we can set up first after when we are importing any kind of model in master cam so first how we can set up our model in a proper position because here as you can see my wcs position is right at here so i i can't make so that time if my wcs position is here so that time my z offset will be bottom of my profile so normally we don't make that kind of machining so first i have to arrange my workpiece wcs position properly and then you will learn about the roughing operation in this video we will discuss about the roughing operation as per our previous tool path when we are work when we are working in a master cam so mostly we are trying to make roughing tool path by the help of area machining so in this video first let me make our workpiece at a proper position so for creating my workpiece at a proper position so first what i have to do i have to going in a wire frame and i have to select the one of the most using important operation that is bounding box first when we are clicking on a bounding box first we have to select whole entity all the surface and entity which we have to create a bounding box when we are going to process that one so as you can see here it is automatically creating a block size if you want rectangle we can also create a rectangle but as you can see here we want to create a rectangle or numa shape so that's the our raw material is looking like that so what is the x size what is the y size and what is the z size so i just make that my total z size is 20 20 mm so for creating a total z size is 20 mm i just input here the total z is 20 mm and that z is from bottom area so my that one coordinate from z00 to here to top area is 20 mm from this one corner to my y area is 82 mm 82.5 mm and my total x distance is 203 mm and now i have to click create a geometry when i just click a create a geometry so that time there will be totally lines and arc will be created just i just click okay so as you can see here when i just click okay so that time my geometry is packed in a rectangular numa shape so now i can easily locate my wcs at that one position so now for locating my wcs at that one position the easiest way is i just have to drag my wcs from here to here and i just input here first setup we can input here the name as per our reference so that is one is the one of the easiest way to create a new plane so i just create a new plane wcs and now we, i just make set as wcs tool plane construction plane and now okay so as you can see here my wcs is now changed and my top top position is here as you can see so it is easiest method to create my wcs from bottom area to top now i just create a new tool path new plane so that one is here so now i have to create a roughing operation so for before creating a roughing operation i have to select my machine so for selecting a machine i have to go in a machine mill and default first i have to input tool number ascends tool sequence warm up duplicate tool number and first is stock setup so for selecting stock setup i just click on all entity so that time automatically make all entity as per what wire frame entity so now the next one process that i have to do that i have to create roughing tool path as per our part so for creating a roughing tool path i have to select area roughing operation so when we are talking about the area roughing operation so before creating any area roughing operation first we have to create a stock model so for creating a stock model i have to join go in a stock model 
when we are talking about the stock model first we have to input the name of stock model for example i just input stock model now what is the stock size we can calculate it from stock setup so that time it is automatically calculated as per our stock setup page now we can also input the color of our stock model for example i just create a different color so i can easily identify which which my stock model and which is my mod main model and now i just press okay so when i just press okay so as you can see here automatically my stock model is created and now i have to create tool path by the help of roughing operation by the help of area roughing so for creating area roughing operation first i have to click on a area roughing operation and now when we are clicking on area roughing operation so that time there will be automatically a new screen will be highlighted i have just click ok here and select all the entities and now here i have to input what is the stock size after roughing in the wall area and what is the stock size after roughing in a floor area and now i have to go in a model tool tool path sorry tool path control there will be no control requ required now i have to just go in a tool so for selecting a tool i have to go in a tool library i have to select a ball nose and ball nose so i just select ball nose is 16 r2 and now i can input here feed spindle speed and here i have to just input rough now the next one step is i have to link my stock with that one operation so that time master cam will automatically calculate tool path by the reference of my stock model so for linking my stock model i have to go in a rest material which is my rest material one operation and that one operation is this and now i have to here adjust to remaining stock the value of the adjust to remaining stock is we are calculating from that one i just input my stock area is 0.25 floor area is my 0.25 stock and now at here stock area i have to input more than that one value if my stock size is 0.25 i have to input here 0.3 if my stock size is 0.5 i have to input 0.7 or 0.6 now the next one is my cutting parameter at here my cutting parameter i have to input what is the step down step down means what is the depth of cut i have to input 0.3 and always make sure that your keep tool down within it should be 100% and now my corner radius will be on in this video i will also discuss about what is the corner radius and what will happen if you don't provide corner radius and what will happen if you input corner radius now in the first generating operation i don't select corner radius and now the what is the xy step over xy step over is 45% as per my default value and now the next one step is transitions i have to input profile type transitions z clearance is 2 plunge angle it should be 5 degrees the best plunge angle and now here my tool is inserted so i have to input skip pocket is smaller than is 200% of my tool diameter now skip and zero i don't input any kind of parameter and here i just click okay and regenerate so as you can see here my tool path is generated but there are lot of lines are created in the upper side so how i can control these unwanted lines so for controlling these all kind of unwanted lines i have to go in a parameter in a linking parameter when you want to control all these unwanted line make sure you have to make minimum vertical retract when you are selecting a minimum vertical retract and that time you have to input output feed rate it should be 5000 it means see that when my tool is retracting from one profile area to another profile area so what will be the feed rate of that time so i have to make sure when you are work clicking on a minimum vertical retract check make check box on and input any kind of value 5000 is the best value and now i just press okay and again regenerate my tool path so again when i just regenerate in my tool path so that time as you can see here my whole tool path is generated but there is no more retracting as per my model so as you can see here my tool path is done and now i can machining in a 2d simulation or a 3d simulation 
as per my requirement I just show you in a 2d simulation right here so as you can see here first my rough all my roughing passes and then all my machining will be done as my as per my tool path so now that one is my first tool path is area roughing by the help of 16 r2 now when I just working on a 16 r2 after that my that time my corner area so that time my corner areas are smaller than the 16 diameter tool so for that one purpose I have to go in machining by the help of less diameter tool so for that one there is a very easy simple method I just have to copy this program and again paste so I just copy these both of these operation and again I have to just paste now again I have to go in a stock size parameter again I can input my name is for my reference purpose 16 R2 and I can change the color of my stock model and here I have to input the source operation it means my stock model will be sourcing from any other kind of stock model when we are asked talking about the stock model operation so here is the we have to input the name here we have to input what is the plane and here the initial stock shape means key what is the currently stock shape so I have just when I just talking about the initial shape matlab means key what is my current stock shape so my current stock is stock model that is my previous stock name and now the source operation means that that one is my previous stock and what is minus or what is the material reduce that is my that one operation the material reduce and just I just press ok and again regenerate that one operation so let's see that what is happening so when I just regenerating my that one operation so if that operation is taking time sometimes so that time you can go in a view multi thread and right click and real time ok so as you can see here my toolpath is generated and the maximum material is removing by the help of area roughing but there is a still material is available at the corner place so for must removing that one material I just have to going in again by the less diameter tool so for that one I have to go in a parameter all the parameters should be same I just have to change that is my tool diameter I have to go in a select tool diameter filter and again I have to choose the tool diameter is 6R1 and I just input rough 2 or rest rough now I have to input in the cutting parameter that is my cutting parameter what is my step down <coughs> and what is my all the parameter I don't require to be changed make sure when we are talking about the skip pocket is smaller than it should be less make sure what is the stick skip pocket is smaller than and how we can define that one parameter make sure there is a one standard format that I am just using that is when I was using my inserted type tool so that time I have to input that one 200 percent it means skip pocket is smaller than it means so why where is the pocket if my tool is diameter is 16 mm and there is any kind of pocket in my geometry or in a, my profile so that time my tool is going to dip if that is a 16 mm or 17 or 18 mm so that time my tool will be break because when I was talking about the inserted type tool so that time inserted tool done inserted tool tool don't have cutting edges at the bottom area at just the center point center side of the tool but when I just talking about the insert tool the fluid tool so that time we can easily so make sure when you are machining by the help of inserted type tool it should be 200 percent and when you are machining by the help of fluid or cut fluid type tool so it should be 0% now steep and shallow I don't have required to be change any kind of tool ok and again I have to regenerate multi thread right click real time so that time the processing time is automatically increases now as you can see here my tool path is generated within a very less time but as you can see here my toolpath is generated the fully area 
so what I have to change I have to again going in a parameter I have to change my tool as well as my stock area and I have to change my stock area model what is my stock model that is my previous stock is that that one my first stock that one is my second stock so I have to choose that one as my stock as currently and again I have to regenerate when I just make a regeneration of that one operation so master cam automatically machining make tool path then removing material from that one profile only so it will again I have to go in multi thread right click in real time and ok so as you can see here my tool path is generated and if you are looking my tool path so it is running only at the corner area of my profile so it is a very easy method to make a machining I also show you in a 3D simulation that verify my tool path so you can understand easily that how my tool path is machining that one material so for that one purpose I have to go and click on verify and now run so as you can see here my I have 2 mm of extra material so it is removing the maximum of upper area material and now it is machining by slice by slice the best part of area roughing operation is that there is tool damage is percentage is zero and it is removing material by slice by slice slice by slice so your tool don't have much load compared to any other kind of operation so as you can see here my tool path is going very well so my first operation is done and the maximum material is removing so that is my second one tool that is 8 mm or 6 mm of ball nose that is removing only that area that is corners so thank you very much i wish you understand all the detail about that one tool path if you have any kind of if you require any kind of information you feel free to contact